Hello traders, great to see you once again and we are with another pre-market update ahead of the opening bell for Thursday. What a great start for the year. The S&P 500 rose yesterday above the 2700.11 mark for the first time and you know also other major indexes hit their record closing highs as technology stocks climbed after signs of robust economic uh, growth. Uh, so we got the support yesterday from the December Fed policy meeting protocols showing the US Central Bank would likely stick to gradual interest rate hikes this year and they actually uh, reiterated gradual rate increases so that is steady as she goes which the stock market seems uh, to like. So this is the Intraday action of yesterday on the SPY, the ETF that tracks the S&P 500. This is a 15 minutes uh, time frame, and I just love it when the market uh, just um, he, uh, just get to the highs at the end of the day. We saw um, this action yesterday, uh, two, two days ago, the first day of the new year, and also um, yesterday. So there is a lot of confidence among uh, buyers. The market momentum continues to run very strongly. And if you are looking for something negative to say about this action, uh, about the only thing you might argue is that the action is too positive, you know. Uh, it feels a bit frothy. Um, as the S&P 500 pushes into new high territory and market players, you know, worry more about missing out. This is the form of fear of missing out than being caught in a reversal. This has been a very methodical, technical trend. Let's take a look on the daily chart of the S&P 500. It has been in place, you know, most of last year and ignited in December and is getting some of the money flows in the first few days of the year. By the way, remember Rally Santa Claus we talked about two weeks ago? So guys, it's time to check the turkey in the oven. All right, so let me show you that. So um, both the Dow Jones and the S&P 500 successfully ended the Santa Rally period with a gain, a positive start to the year and to the month of January itself seen uh, as an important indicator for the market year. Um, just to remind you, the Santa rally period includes the final five trading days of the old year and the first two days of the new year. And a positive market is thus, in, in those session is a good omen for the new year and a great indicator for uh, of market health. Now, let's just take the last five days um, of the old year, it starts here. So the closing before um, that period, uh, the SPY closed at 267.58. And together with the first two days of the new year, uh, it finished yesterday around at 270.47. So that brings me to more than 1% gains in this period. And as I told you, and you can check it back in our video on YouTube, um, historically, this period that includes only seven trading days, historically got an average gains in the S&P 500 of 1.3%. Uh, so uh, it's a great strategy to be involved in. So I would say the Santa rally worked out, the Turkey rally worked out, the summer rally worked out, everything is working out uh, around us. <laughs> uh, looking at the massive gains from the first two days of the year and one must admit that they got it all wrong. You know, the, the tax bill is far from being discounted in the price of the market. And this is the reason the market is rallying. Now, every day we get a bunch of upgrades for dozens of stocks from Wall Street top analysts, and these keep pouring more buying ammunition into the fire. Uh, that, of course, makes you wonder where are those people who kept you out of the market because they thought the rally had run its course. Where are the bears who told us to be careful that you are coming on top of the old news of reform? 
<laughs> now, one of the things which took um, the most interest ye yesterday was Intel INTC. You can see it on this chart, the five minutes chart. Uh, just take a look on the roller coaster there. It plunged massively uh, at uh, about one and a half hours uh, into into uh, the day, but was able to recover a little bit in the final hours, as you can as you can see. A peak in the a peak in the volume, and of course. Stock, stocks hunters were here to, to, to save a little bit the day. Now, still, it is down more than 3%, and it's a stock to put also on your screen today. Now, the things that are going there are very, very severe and are going to impact all of us, and I mean all of us. The registry reported yesterday there, there is a security flow with Intel processors, with the CPUs. Um, the report said the issue will require a significant security update of Linux and Microsoft Windows uh, operating uh, system to work around. So as a result, most of the computers in the world are going to slow down by an average of 17% as a result of this um, security update. Um, so yes, also your computer, if you have an Intel CPU inside it, and just think on of the huge data centers of Amazon, of Google, of Facebook, all of them are going to get hit. All of them are going to uh, slow down. So this is a, a, a massive issue. It's still an ongoing uh, issue. As a result, by the way, rival companies like AMD and NVIDIA, NVIDIA shot higher dramatically. NVIDIA uh, up more than 6.5% yesterday. And just to remind you, that was the best stock of the Nasdaq in the past two years. I love Nvidia and this is my stock to go every day on my screen. All right, so with the last gains um, in the market, uh, the bulls are 2-0 for 2018. This is just a festival going on and on and you know, don't let the music stop. I just want to hear it more and more. Um, it continues to be a very good market for aggressive traders. As always, it is the price action that is most important. And so far, there isn't, sig si there isn't signaling that it's time to run for safety. Um, market players are used to these straight up moves, but generally due to New Year pressures usually is not very smooth selling. So take that into account. Um, we have to do our best to make money while we can, but we need to keep an eye out for a change in character as well. So this is a great market for traders now. Don't squander it by worrying too much about how long can it last. Um, trade the price action and ride the momentum. Best wishes from me. Have a great trading day and I'll see you in our next video. Bye bye.